this quick tip, we will go over a glitter shader. So let's start from scratch. Click new shader, add a mix node, mix shader node that is. And we want to feed in a color into this principled BSDF by doing base color. I've already chosen my hex code and I want it to be pink. I'm going to bring the roughness to E divided by 3. Add a glossy shader. Plug this into here. Turn the roughness to 0. Use another color. I'm using this yellow. And this is where the magic will start happening. So I want to map range node and I'm going to plug that, make that a mask and do E divided by 16, E divided by 16 plus 0.01 to clamp this mask. Now I'm going to add a Voronoi texture plug this distance into the value and I'm gonna also plug this color value into here excuse me rather the normal map I'm adding a normal map into here increase the scale to 100 and you can see it's coming together quite nicely I mess this part up to E divided by 16 plus 0.01 E divided by 16. And there you go. That is the general basis that we're looking for here. So this color of this Voronoi is feeding into the normal map. Spreading this into the normal, plugging this into the glossy, masking it, and then coloring it with this principled BSDF. Now you're basically done. Now, I want to add a little more detail and control to this. So I do control T, T to add a texture coordinate in this mapping. You can adjust the scale if you would like to do this to make the pieces larger or just kind of more like a seed value to some degree. You can adjust the rotation. You can adjust the location as another seed value to control this. Now, I want to add a little more detail to this area, so I'm going to add a bump node. Go to normal, add a noise. Plug this into the height. Decrease this E divided by 3 I'm doing right here. I'm going to increase the detail. And you can see that's way too much. But it looks kind of cool, but we're going to lower this to 0.1. Actually, let's go even lower. Let's just do 0 0.001. Just to add some nice um, bumps and a little more shadow information. One more thing I'm going to do here. And I don't know if this is necessary, but I added ambient occlusion to this color. And that replaces the color, makes it just white. But I want my pink back. So I'm going to copy this pink color and do that. And there you go. You can just adjust these parts, change the colors, change the clamping. And that should about do it. Thank you for watching.